My name is Emma Whitaker and I want to ban detox teas. I was diagnosed with anorexia and bulimia when I was 17. I think detox teas played a significant role in my diagnosis. It was unfortunate that I discovered them. The first time I saw an advert for a detox tea was on Instagram. I think it was 2012. It was booty and it was this bright pink and green packaging. So the whole process with all of these detox teas is there's a daytime tea and then an evening tea. And in the nighttime one, it usually has senna. Senna, which I didn't know at the time, is a natural laxative. So what I find so amazing is that these products are sort of rebranded laxatives into a fun, girly way for younger people to lose weight. And I think it's really sad because it's a trap I completely fell into. I think the reason I was quite susceptible to going down this path was partly due to losing my mum when I was younger. And I was quite a sensitive kid. I took it quite well, I took it too far and um, started abusing the teas. Some pretty nasty things happened. I started messing myself, usually in the middle of the night, and at its absolute worst, I was running to the bathroom one time to go to the toilet and I fainted and I remember waking up in hospital in a and &E. I just want to make it clear that these detox teas did not cause my mental health illness. But they still had a significant part to play in how I felt. There's such pressure in the media for girls and boys to look a certain way and I think we really need to start moving away from this. A lot of these T-Tox brands are being advertised by influencers and celebrities across social media. I'd be really interested to talk to an influencer directly about this and ask them why they're promoting these products and do they really understand what these products do? My name is Natasha Grano. I'm a luxury lifestyle influencer and I have around 1.3 million followers. So as you probably know, I'm not the Detox Tea's biggest fan, um, but I know you promoted Skinny Mint Tea. So could you tell us a bit about why you promoted them and do you use them now? First of all, sorry about your story. No, no it's because, not your you fault. you know, it's not what you want to happen from it. Um, I personally do love the tea because if you use them properly and you do not drop the food at all, then I think it's brilliant. I work in a, the world of social media where everything we put up is taken so literally. And the way to do it is to actually show them right after a skinny mint post, me in a restaurant stuffing my face. So one of the things that bothers me about the detox teas is the branding. I don't know if they're really marketing like a packaged laxative in the wrong way. Yeah. Like, should it be a bit more grown up? Or what do yeah. you think about that? That's actually quite funny that when you think about it, I never, I'd never actually thought of it in that way that, you know, this like glossy thing that's going to make you go to the loo for hours. <laughs> um, I, I think, yes, it may be, but then people wouldn't buy it. I just don't think that girls under the age of 21 need to be touching that kind of thing anyway. It's been really interesting for me to hear your point of view and it, and it has changed my mind slightly. Through our conversation I've been thinking maybe more of an age limit because for me I already had disordered eating but I was young too and I'm thinking maybe if it was like 18 or over it would be a little better. Yeah, I think if it was, I think perhaps, you know, age could be something to do with it. Life experience would tell you, you know, don't just drink something all day, you know, um, like with alcohol, I guess. Yeah, 
understand that for sure. What I'm pleased to say is that people are now standing up against this and realising that it's unhealthy. I'll explain it for you. Oh, excuse me, is there a bathroom? You're gonna sh in your pants. Five cheap purple alternatives that you can drink at home. Number four, soil tea. And number five, saliva tea. So yeah, if anyone would like a nice cup of herbs, not for me.